Hi guys, my name is African Programmer. Welcome to your fourth tutorial on Java packages. So in this tutorial, I'll be talking about uh, what are packages, and what are they useful, and what are the rules in using packages or in writing packages. So let's get to it. All right, guys. Uh, a package, uh, a Java package, are used to to group related classes or interfaces let's say for example you have a friend called john right john i say john Piri, right this john Piri is from work right and you also have another friend called john and john is from church john is from church so we use packages to exp to group related classes and interfaces. So, so instead of writing these names in your phone book as John, 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 as John, 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 John here, John, John, we have to just group them. For example, I'm just gonna say church. So I've grouped them all the name list of people from church, right? Then I also group all of them, name people from John's from work. So that's the use of packages. We are grouping related classes and interfaces so that we can explicitly we can easily both relate with them. That's it. <laughs> Alright. So let's say I'm just gonna show you an example of how you write a package statement. So just a package statement, comp. So I say comp, right? Then I'm just going to create my own class. Say so class. Um, just going to say class school. Class school. Sorry. Class school. So this class are given a package statement or a package name. This, this class is under the package name comp. Hmm. So under package name. Otherwise, if I didn't write the package statement, this is going to be part of gonna, this class name was going to become part of a default package. Get that? Yeah. Let's move on to the next part. So. You cannot other other thing other rules uh, in when it comes to writing package statement is that if you you are not allowed to write the package statement inside a class inside a class say so say package comp right and also writing a package statement after the class declaration say comp right this is not allowed not at all it's not even allowed otherwise you get errors and other thing that i have i forgot to tell you that says a package statement comes first to be written in a java file otherwise if you're not writing a package statement first in a Java class, it's supposed to be a comment. So comments can be written any any part of your Java file. So the first thing that you have to take note is that your the import state the the the, in, the, the package statement comes before the import statement and the Java class. That's one thing that you have, that's other thing that you have to put in mind if you're going to certify. Those kind of questions will come in your exam. So I'll talk to you about that. Another thing I wanted to talk to you about was that you cannot define multiple Java statements in a class. Understand? You cannot define multiple Java statements in a class. Okay, 
<clears throat> we're done on that part. So this is part of, this is, the, we're done on the tutorial on packages. So let's just do a recap on that. So let's just do it. So just gonna increase this side. So number one, what we talked about is that a package statement is supposed to be written before the import and Java class or class, sorry. Let's just say class declaration. De class declaration. And number two, um, a class, <laughs> a class, sorry, a package is supposed to be written before the import in class declarations. So a package statement, statement is picture cannot cannot be written inside of a class class or after the class declaration number two three comments can be written for the package package statement package statement and number four a class can not class can't define multiple package statement multiple package statement so guys this is some of the rules and guidelines in writing in using packages in your class so I've explained just a basic on packages so in the coming tutorials later on when you'll be using packages I'll explain more on that so if you have any other questions on the basics you can just leave a comment or if you like this video just put a thumbs up so guys see in the next tutorial where I'll be talking about the import statement Thanks guys for watching.